Hey, welcome in. When I got my first drawing tablet, I didn't really use it. Little fun fact about me, I didn't plan on becoming a digital artist. I actually really hated digital art. Back then, I didn't really know how to use computers. I could barely type a sentence out without looking at the keyboard. And now, in order to expand my artistic skills, I had to learn how to use an art program from the ground up. It was frustrating and overwhelming. At the time, I just thought I really hated digital art, so I gave up on drawing digitally. I had been drawing for years, but when I started using digital art tools, it just did not make sense to me. I didn't want to have to start all over again. And then it hit me. When I first started drawing, I had no idea what I was doing way back then either. I just wanted to draw, and I wanted to do it forever. Who was I to stop myself from drawing forever? So in 2015, not only did I start posting my work to the internet, I properly decided to leap into digital art. It was still a hassle, and there were times where I thought I just hated it. I realized I especially hated line art, which is why I don't really do line art in my pieces. If you pay attention to my work, you'll see that it's very sketchy, and I just do an overpainting above my sketches, because I just hate doing line art, so I, I just I gave up on that. I worked really hard to combine the love I had for working traditionally with the ease and convenience of working digitally. And I think it's really funny that a lot of people mistake my work to be done traditionally. I think I did a really, really good job mixing the two together. And that makes me really happy. Now, I love creating digital art. I feel I really found my footing with everything from learning how to work with art programs to properly setting up digital art tools to work with my style. Still pretty bad at the typing though. Throughout my journey as a digital artist, I've had multiple different tablets, ranging from regular pen tablets to full-on pen displays. So although I don't claim to be an expert on tablets or what tablet would be the best for you, I do have some experience with tablets and I know what's best for me. So I wanted to share some of my thoughts on the Gaumon PD2200 that Gaumon sent me. I uploaded some videos on the Gaumon PD2200 art display tablet and in one of those videos I said I do plan on making a YouTube video about this tablet reviewing it further and going into more detail about why I would recommend this tablet so be on the lookout for that when it comes out now this isn't exactly a review it's just more of my honest thoughts and opinions on the tablet after using it for a while now and it's no secret I really love it I have used it almost every day now since I was gifted it Majority of my art and videos I've posted have been created with the Gaumon PD2200. I find that I gravitate more toward using my tablet than using my iPad, which was previously my only way to create digital art. My biggest complaint that I have about the Gaumon PD2200 is that I don't use the touch buttons. The area where the buttons are located are too high up on the tablet to reach comfortably while I draw. I'm also a night owl, so I draw at ungodly hours of the night. The buttons don't have any way of distinguishing them in dim or darker settings. The screen is so smooth it doesn't feel right to call them buttons, it's more like touching a screen and seeing something happen. Another thing that's not a great deal breaker for me is that the colors aren't 100% accurate and you will never be able to get them to be fully accurate either. They're always a touch off. So if you heavily rely on your colors to be super accurate, you might find the tablet a bit annoying to use. Since I'm more of a comic artist, and not really an illustrator, I don't mind. Other than those two things though, I really love this tablet. It's so sturdy and nice to use with this 21.5 inch screen size. Actually, when I first set up this tablet, my metal tripod fell right onto the screen. I freaked out and when I ran over to check, it didn't even leave a scratch. Since then, I knew me and this tablet would get along well. Again, this isn't a sponsored video or anything. Gamma was just really kind to send me their tablet to review, but if you're interested in checking this tablet out or getting one for yourself, I do have a discount code for you guys to use. Click the link in my bio to get an extra 7% off of your purchase of the PD2200 display tablet or use Potato Blue at checkout. It's really nice to have a dedicated desk display tablet to work on. It's also nice having two monitors. 
when I'm not drawing, I can play some video games and watch YouTube on the other screen. It's so nice. And I don't want to overhype this tablet, but if I knew how much I would have enjoyed this tablet sooner, I definitely would have gotten it a lot sooner. It definitely would have saved me a lot of headaches. And that's about it for me. I hope you enjoyed this short-ish video. I'm still trying to do my best with the whole voiceover thing. If you watched my previous video on that, thank you so much. Uh, let me know what I did. I'm trying to get more chill with it. I don't know how to, I don't know. Anyways, thank you for watching. I also want to thank my members. My coffee members, my server boosters, my Twitch subscribers. Thank you all so much for supporting me and supporting Enderblue. I really appreciate every single one of you. If you want to join the members, there will be a link in the description to my coffee account where you can access a bunch of like bonus sneak peek features if you join as a member. You can join for as little as $2 a month or you can go crazy and go for the $10 tier. But yeah, that's it. That's it for me. I hope you had a great holiday season and a good new year. What are you guys looking forward to in the new year? Do you have any big plans? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's it for me. See you in the next one. Take care.